I figured I'd do a couple more show and tells of some more Google finds I got today, or earlier today. <clears throat> well, there's not any fans, but I think you might be pleasantly surprised, so feel free to check this out. GE 3-5005 Cassette tape recorder. Yeah. This was one of the finds I got at Goodwill earlier today. So yeah. Price three ninety nine. So half of that would have been two bucks. So awesome. And I saw this and it's like I could use more tape recorders in my collection. And uh, that's some of the um, features. That's the same thing on the other side, too. So, yeah. Let's unbox it. I would say this was mint, but it's missing the instruction manual, maybe some other accessories, and the top styrofoam holder thing. But, like I said, I'm not going to worry about it. And here's what it looks like. Like your standard, typical tape recorder. Sadly, I don't have the uh, AC adapter, but I have plenty of batteries. So, let me get the batteries put in and we'll give it a go. Okay, sadly, I could not find the test tape I used for my other cassette recorders. So, I just grabbed one of the few remaining pre-recorded tapes I had, so we'll see how well it plays and sounds, and uh, if I get another blank tape, I'll probably do an update video. So, here we go. Um, okay. This is weird. Hmm. Hold that thought. Okay, I've concluded that this recorder is going to need some work. I mean, yes, it looks like it hasn't been used or anything, but when I uh, pressed play, I heard some dead air, and it's just strange like that. I mean, I'm hearing it, and then it goes silent, so something is horribly wrong. Maybe there's a blown cap in here or something. I don't know. And to prove it's not the tape that I used... Okay, wrong side. I mean, yeah, this tape deck isn't really that great because I got no sound out of that one, but still. Magnavox. LCD. TV clock radio looking thing. LCD color television, stereo, FM, AM receiver, earphone, camera case, battery operated, ACDC. <laughs> and here's one side. We'll see. Top of the box. Model CK1050CH01. Made in Japan. Yeah. In case anybody doesn't realize, this is the other find from Goodwill from earlier today. And hoping this works a little bit better because the tape recorder is going to need some work. But uh, we'll see about that. Other side of the box. Yeah. Well, here's what it looks like out of the box. It's kind of sticky and it's like, ew, gross. But uh, yeah. 
Magmox LCD color television FM AM stereo receiver. Made of January of 1989. Hmm. Nice to know when it was made. Obviously strong stuff. Quality stuff. Whatever. So yeah, I got it all hooked up, so let's take a look. And you see the dork behind the video camera. Yeah. So yeah, this is what it looks like. We'll start off with radio first. We're not going to go through it because this, this speaker is hurting my ears. My ears are very sensitive. So, we'll go to TV. I don't know why I'm going to go through with this because we're not going to get anything. Except dead air. I'm not even going to bother extending the antenna because, well, whatever. And uh, what I did, when I did dry run it off camera, I think this may need some work too, or I have something hooked up wrong. Take a look. Yeah. We're in AV right now. And if you notice, my wallpaper, my computer, which is right there, and the signal is being derived from that uh, PC converter right there. But this bothers me, because hell, look at the color, it's all the way up. So I don't know if something went wrong or I spent five dollars, it was ten, but it was half off for a LCD black and white TV. I don't know. I just don't know. I mean, the idea is there, but functionality-wise, I don't think so. this one. I mean, a couple more things are good for that I didn't really need, but like I said, when it's the first Saturday of the month and everybody's just like grabs anything and everything, it's kind of one of those, I don't know, things. But, uh, it'll probably be a decent thing to add to my collection, who knows. But, um, yeah. But anyway, while I'm thinking about it, I may as well let you know of a couple things I plan on doing. One, uh, the New Jersey videos, I'm not going to do one whole long video. It's going to be bits and pieces. Partly because, well, I do need to edit them and do, like, take some things out that were kind of lulled. Kind of there's a lull in it, so don't want that. Secondly, I'm going to get around to going through the prop room and filming some fans that you may have seen years past but never done an actual show and tell. So that one I'll take care of. And uh, thirdly... I'm going to try like hell, even though it's going to be tough, but it's doable, to get my 300th video in time for my 30 year anniversary on YouTube. But I wouldn't count on that, but it's actually doable. But uh, that's pretty much how I'm going to do things. Until next time, I'm Eski. Thanks for watching. And the comment box is open.